Good day. Um, this is just a video to show you uh, what to do right after you install MIDI Engine 3.4. So if you are on 3.3, .3, I recommend that you uh, back up your project before trying to upgrade. But anyway, uh, the first thing you want to do, um, just make sure that you have your um, show agent content and show plugin content ticked so that we can navigate to the plugins content. So if we head over to engine here, then plugins. Uh, let's find mini engine here. It should be right here. So if you open one of the demo content um, maps, um, you'll notice one thing. You'll probably have these black um, materials here. Most of the materials have 10 black. So uh, that's fine. It's not much of a bug it's just that we've decided to switch to um, substrate materials so go over to your um, project settings and then search for substrate and then just make sure that your substrate materials are on all right yeah then research restart your engine so um the first time you do this it might need uh, so compile shaders but that's fine um we are switching to substrate because we believe that's where the the entire material um editor is headed i think uh preparing to switch because right now it's beta uh, and 5.4 it was alpha so once you load these maps again you get all the materials they won't be black anymore so if you see any blackness just know that you need to switch to substrate substrate materials um, the second thing, I think I've covered this in another video, but let me just cover it for those who are new. You need to go to your project settings and then find MIDI engine in one of the plugins list, right? It's plugins and then you'll find MIDI engine right here. Make sure that you've selected uh, this default MIDI channels data asset. Um, the third thing is still in your project settings. Just search here and then do audio buffer so you'll get these settings the settings for android ios and windows and um, these settings they they just um, determine how snappy or responsive your your audio is right so personally i like to sh uh, turn these down all the way to the minimum okay to 64 but these settings what they do they're the same as like in your door this is fl studio if you go to options audio settings you'll find them here so you see this buffer length let me show this you see this buffer length is the same thing as these project settings like by default they're at 1024 which means they'd be here so what they determine is um how do i put this i'll give an example when you press a key on your um, midi keyboard sometimes there's a little delay uh, before you hear the sound so that's what they do right the higher this number is the more there'll be a delay the lower this number is there's less delay but you're using more cpu power so choose um whatever value is um, that's best for your project all right so for mine since i'm targeting windows i feel like the performance is enough for me to turn this all the way down to 64. um the the other option is um, max channels this i've also covered um but yeah, uh, the around um, engine audio settings, quality, quality levels, you have these max channels. By default, they're at 32. That's pretty low. Um, so for Android, for, for, for like platform specific channels, they're set at zero, which means they'll be reading from this um, global value. Personally, I like to set mine at a minimum of, five, of um, 500. That's what I want to do. Uh, what do these do? Um, if you set your max channels to 32, that means um, at a single point, uh, you can only have 32 MIDI notes playing. So I think that's pretty low because most doors, like if you were to go to a full studio, they play a lot of notes, around 500. Just for good measure, my, 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 my other project, I've set this to 1,000. But um, yeah, just know that these, these, these values... Um, you can set them however you want. Um, it depends on what your project needs, right? If your project needs um, 
1000 set it to 1000 but just know that as you increase or decrease these values um there's more cpu power being used but it's fine it doesn't affect my project you'll still reach um 110 fps as for me i haven't seen anything negative about it yeah those are the top three or four settings you need to do right after you install midi engine um, three in this case it's 3.4 but yeah thanks for tuning in um yeah one thing um that you might uh need or want to know is that um these settings that i just showed you um uh the buffers like audio buffers and the next channels they only apply if you are not planning to use background audio and you're actually planning to play um each and every midi note like you're actually making some sort of a door uh daw that that plays each and every mid node if you just want to use uh your midi notes to trigger gameplay but you don't want them to be heard because you'll be using like background audio files like for example inside this demo audio uh folder there's this background audio file right if you're going to be using these like you're going to be using actual um songs on your background then you don't need those settings um optimize just leave the defaults they'll be fine okay because you'll be silently broadcasting um midi notes so yeah but if you are making something along the lines of a door where you are playing each and every midi notes through meta sounds okay then yeah you'll need those settings so i just wanted to clarify that uh but anyway yeah thanks for tuning in <laughs>